All right, hello everyone, and thank you for joining us on another episode of the Coffee with Coaches podcast. I'm your host, Michael Pacheco, and today I have Eva Stortz with me. Eva is a former Disney executive and now executive coach. She supports ambitious professionals in creating the career and happy, balanced life they want to live. Eva, welcome to the podcast. Thank you so much. I'm really delighted to be here. Thank you. Uh, let's just dive right in here. Question number one, Eva, why did you become a coach? Well, it, it actually happened pretty organically. I was at Disney for 20 years, so long that they started calling me mama. And anytime <laughs> anyone needed career advice, they're like, go see mama. And so people would come to me and it just sort of happened. Uh, when I did get laid off from Disney, I decided to write a career advice book because it was an amazing career. I had great leaders. There were so many best practices. I really wanted to get them down in book form. And then um, I just decided to go ahead and make it official. So I went and did a year training and I'm now ICF certified. So it was really just a natural process. I love it. That's awesome. Uh, question number two, what are you doing in your coaching business today that is unique? Well, I think it's kind of unique that I proactively decided I wanted to spend half of my time coaching uh, doing pro bono work. So I do guest lectures at universities and then I mentor um, the students who are interested in that. Uh, I volunteer at Dress for Success, I'm helping winner, women re-enter the workforce. And then I also, um, do a career advice on a website called Fairy God Boss, where women can write in anonymously for career advice. So it's just how I wanted to set it up, um, half pro bono and then half, you know, with paid clients. That's great. Fairy God Boss. Fairy God Boss. It's a huge online community. <laughs> of women. That sounds so great. I've never even heard of that before. I have to check that out. Um, okay, rolling right along. <laughs> Question number three, how do you find your clients? I would say 95% via LinkedIn. Mm -hmm. And I use a mix of marketing and sales. Um, the marketing is try to stay ever present. I'm on there every day, sharing, commenting, liking. Um, I write articles. Uh, and so I publish those on LinkedIn. And that's like the marketing side. Mm -hmm. And then sales, and this is for the bold, um, I literally post my bio and ask my network for referrals. And that's mm -hmm. how I've gotten almost every one of my clients by just boldly asking for those referrals. Um, I have gotten some from doing speaking events, but very literally, you don't get if you don't ask. So you have to let your network know what you're doing. Mm -hmm. I love that. That's a great, uh, that's a great tip. Question number four, what is the biggest challenge that you face as a coach? I think it's kind of related to my pro bono work. Um, I fall in love with people so quickly. <laughs> so when I'm talking to somebody, I get so invested in their life and what they want to achieve that I have in the past forgotten to ask them about the paid part of it. Um, and then I'm also, it's like very challenging for me because I do, and I've always done it for free. I would say the transitioning to, to getting people to pay money mm -hmm. is where I've stumbled kind of the most. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay. And, uh, rolling on to question number five, if you had a do over in your coaching business, what would that be? I would have definitely started doing it officially and formally earlier. Uh, I felt like it had to be perfect. I needed the ICF, you know, I needed to get so many hours before I charge people. But the truth is, you know, with, if you have business experience, you've got something to offer. So if I had to do it over again, I would have just made this official many, many, many years ago. Mm -hmm. Awesome. Lovely. And the bonus question, what is one book that you recommend all your clients read? I really like the first 90 days. Um, I work a lot with career transition. Um, so when people start the job, like how to be most successful, 
Uh, mm -hmm. I think it's a great book because it really focuses on what I think is the most important. And it's always about relationships and setting those up early, um, staying positive and like being very self-motivated and coming up with your own goals and objectives um, in addition to what your company is asking for, just being very, very self-motivated. That's great. Yeah, that's great. Um, and Eva, do you, if there's anything uh, that you'd like to add uh, to this or pitch or promote, now's the time. And also, please let us know where uh, our listeners can connect with you online. Uh, because if you can spell my last name, you can find me. Uh, my last name is S-T-E-O-R-T-Z. So um, from that, you can find my book, which is um, easy to find on Amazon. It's called From the Outhouse to the Mouse House, Crap You Need to Know for a Dream Come True Career. <laughs> and then um, I love LinkedIn, so you can find me there. And I'm also on Facebook and Instagram. Awesome. Eva Stortz, thank you so much for joining us on this episode of the Coffee with Coaches podcast. And thank you to our audience for tuning in. We will see you all next time.